Today, I'm going to share with you how to create your landing page in Thinkific and how to publish your first online course. Let's go ahead and get started. I am actually inside of my curriculum for Thinkific. And if you haven't checked out the other videos, make sure to watch those videos, which are going to be above this. And you can actually share how you can get started creating all of your lessons and also customizing all of those settings inside of Thinkific. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is I am going to get the process started for building out my landing page. Now, this is a common question that I get about creating a course and that's how to create a sales page. And one thing I will have to tell you is I do like Thinkific for a lot of different features, but honestly, if you're trying to create a full customized landing page, I personally recommend using your own external website that you host all of your other content. And that's just because there's a lot more customization options, but we're going to go ahead and show you how you can customize your landing page. If you are just actually getting started with Thinkific and you don't have a website and you're not quite sure exactly how to use the features inside of Thinkific first. So, inside of your page, what we're going to do is we're going to stick on this pages area. We don't want to be here because this is the entire theme setting because we already set that up in one of our previous videos. What we're going to do is we already have this header selected and this header you can actually see has some already custom pre-built information in this banner. Of course, that's what I'm talking about. Um, and so in this banner area, you can see that there is the automatically add course name and description. So again, remember how we actually used in our previous area, how you can actually customize your settings for your course name and also your description. So do make sure that if you haven't customized your course name and also your description that you do that before you click publish. Let's go ahead and customize this hero image. And again, to get there, just to show you where I am. We're under sections, headings, and then we're under the hero image. And again, what's really cool about this is that Thinkific gives us the pixel dimensions. No need to search for it. It's already there. And they're so great at it. There's so many customization options that they give you. So you can upload your banner here with an image. You can add your custom one. Um, I recommend not really using these, but just using the files that you already have. So. I actually have a couple of stock photos that I actually like to use. So I'm gonna use one that's a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that file right here. I can create a circle if I want, I can add a crop. Um, I don't really need to do that just because it's already there. So looks like I actually clicked out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that once more and then I'm gonna select upload. So as that's uploading, I just wanted to share with you that you wanna make sure that you have license to use these images. I do have a subscription to this uh, photo here, so I don't have to worry about whether or not this image is going to be uh, accredited to someone else. Now I will say that there is an overlay opacity and that's automatically selected. So you can go ahead and decrease opacity, you can increase opacity, depending on what you want. You can also customize the overlay color, which is kind of nice by adding in the hex code here or customizing it with your own hex code in this section right here. Now, once you're all set with that, uh, you can even change where the image focal point will be. I think it's fine that the image focal point is in the center, but again, you can play around with those settings. The alignment for the height, I normally keep this at large, but you can also customize it to extra large. So you can see here that that header image is quite a bit bigger. Um, and that's really helpful, especially if your image specs are not quite lining up the way you want it to, to just play with that height, the size and alignment. Um, and here you can also even add a button. So this is really quite handy if you wanted to add that button. And here again is where you're gonna see the different call to actions. That's gonna be a checkout page. Um, and then it's gonna ask you, you know, which course are you trying to have this checked out? And you can see, I actually have quite a bit of courses. So I don't have to actually worry right now where this is going to be. Um, and I can actually delete this block entirely. 
I don't want to um, right now, but you can. You can also play around with the different kinds of secondary and primary buttons as well, which is going to be something that you would need to customize the colors and look and feel under the theme settings. So if we go here and we go back to the colors, you can see again the primary and secondary color buttons are already customized in this section. Actually, I'm going to change the text here. I'm just going to say buy now. And then I would say this would be a checkout page. And then I would choose the product. Let's just pretend it's this product here, right? So we now have this buy now button. It's going to go to the checkout page. Okay, so now we have this header image. We have the course name, the description. And here we actually have the course curriculum. Now the course curriculum, since I've actually hovered and clicked on that icon, again, how we got there is we have these sections, the banner and the curriculum. And under the curriculum, you'll see that it's a smart section. This means that it's pulling information directly from your course. And again, this landing page won't be live until you actually publish your course. So you wanna make sure that it looks like the way that you want. You can also have this curriculum collapsed or not collapsed. All right, so now I actually have my sections here. And what I'm going to do is I can actually add in a banner, call to action, checklist, or categories. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to actually add text and media. And I'm going to do that here in this area. And here you can see this plus icon. It's going to do that with any type of content that you want to add. Um, and you'll notice that here, you can't really drag anything, but where you want to drag it is right here. So you want to drag any media and how you select it in this area under the pages section on this dashboard. So I'm going to enter into the text and media. And for the headings, I'm going to add in buy my amazing course. And then I'm going to go into the layout section. And in the layout section, this is going to be where I'm going to share. Have you ever wondered why you're not seeing the results with your social media? Did you see here? You're struggling to see the growth and ahem sales that you thought the gurus would tell you. All right, and then we're going to do pain point two. You and pain point three. Okay, so now that we have that here, let's take a look at this section right here. Now you can see here I just added these little dots, but if I really wanted to, I don't have to use it that way. I can actually go in, click on a save this section, and then I can I can make sure that that is going to be created in a different type of section. So what I can do is actually create a checklist. Okay. And we can actually customize these different checklists here by the different kinds of options above here. So go checklist item and here we see this is right there we wanted to go down here we're going to go under the carrot and then we're going to enter in you've always wanted to to grow your online income as a solopreneur but need step-by-step -step help okay so again we're going to click on save you can see that option is listed there and under here, we're going to say this course is for you if. And I am going to actually remove this subheading because I don't think it's necessary. Click on save. All right, great. So we've got this here. And you know what? This actually gives you some more options. It removes sections, paddings heading alignment and layout. And so we want to actually remove the padding, meaning we don't want as much space here at the top. We can go ahead and decrease that. Same thing for the bottom section padding. We've got this fun little area right down here. Okay, so um, again, if I wanted to actually make this stay on top, I kind of do because I don't like it there, can change this. I'm gonna add this as one column. 
And here we go. So again, you know, this is where you want to think about your copywriting. So you want it to be, you know, maybe just a tad bit shorter because this is coming up on the secondary line. And so we could actually change that if we wanted to just customizing that option. So we have this banner, we have the main features, we have this course for you if, and then we're going to go down into more of the introducing section. So we're fine with this the way it is. Of course, we can always customize it a bit more. Um, then what we'd want to do is create a new section and then we'd want to actually add in introducing. So this is where I would probably want to create a image with text. So I'm going to add that image and text here. Hey, so today I wanted to share you an example of what your Think Epic landing page could look like when it's all put together. So I'm sharing you WC Podcasters Insiders, and I absolutely love Danielle's approach to creating cohort-based membership for WOC podcasters or women of color podcasters. So you can see that on Thinkific, she's done a lot of customization on this landing page. Got a beautiful hero cover image right here. We've got some really great headlines and text and we've got some additional descriptions and we talk about all of how we can create this beautiful text and headlines in previous sections in this video but i wanted to show you that you have a lot of different customization options here headlines descriptions images we've got some icons just like we had the checklist earlier it looks like she's used different sorts of icons and customized it to her brand and the cool thing about this is just like we've shown you is that everything is something you can build based off of, um, you know, without having to hire a graphic designer or use really fancy software. So Thinkific has a really great option to create beautiful landing pages just like this. I'm going to leave a link for you to check out the WOC podcasters. If you identify um, with WOC or a, are a person of color, this is a great membership for you to be a part of. And I'd love for you to check it out because there's some really option, really great options for you to dive deep into your podcasting. If you're thinking that you want to take your sales page to the next level, I really recommend staying tuned for this next section because we're going to talk about how to create a high converting landing page and really build off of everything that we've talked about so far. So the number one thing I wanted to share with you is that in this area, I have a key attention grabbing statement, right? This is the big promise, the big promise that this product delivers on. And so if you, don't have a clear promise or you're not sure how to grab somebody's attention, you really need to know who it is that you're talking to and what their key challenges are and how your solution plays into this overall benefit for your customer. I have a call to action button which goes directly to my checkout page and that's a separate sort of processing area that I have which I can go to in a different lesson. But here we have more information about painting the problem, right? So we have between your 19 open browser tabs, a PowerPoint is the last thing on your mind, right? So we're getting in the mind of our customer. We have so many things happening nowadays as a solopreneur. So their problem is that they're short on time. And then we go into describing those pain points. How does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Really, we can get very descriptive. And then we're really sort of amplifying the challenges that they're facing. This could be something like, hey, I know you're struggling with this and let me share with you why I know you're struggling with this. I'm going to share with you what I know your, your, your challenges are. So this is how you really need to get into the, the challenge mindset of your customer. And then we're going through and we're talking about painting the rainbow. So in this section, we're talking all about what would it look like on the other side of the fence? What would that look like for the customer if they had this groundbreaking product, if they had this groundbreaking solution? So now we're talking about imagine how it would feel to attract dream clients with beautiful presentations, record your course content, pitch to new sponsors, sell your courses on autopilot, right? Wouldn't it be great if you could have all of those things? And then we're kind of talking about the pivot, right? So why should someone want to know how to do those things? And what is it that's really going to make your content stand out as a possible solution. So this is where we present our overall solution. So we go introducing or now from my magical hat, I'm pulled out this beautiful solution. And guess what? You can grab it today. 
right? So it's not really infomercially, even though it sounds like it could be that way. What we're doing is we're presenting the problem, providing a solution. And again, this is not something that you're trying to tell people to do that they didn't want to do already. You're sharing with people something they're already interested in and you're just presenting them with a solution. All right, so now we're gonna get into the features and benefits. And this can be really designed however you want. This can include a description of the key benefits of what's inside. And this is where you really need to know what will be included in your course or program or lessons or templates, whatever it is. So you're also gonna share with them if you have any extra bonus items, bonus one, two, and three. And then we're gonna get into tying it all together. Now we're saying, okay, we want this final call to action. You might include some other things about yourself. And then you're gonna talk a little bit more about how you can make all of this come together with free, frequently asked questions and then down to the final call to action. So what I like to do is I always tell people the price up front. I don't necessarily only tell them that I am going to tell them very at the end. Now that we've talked about how to create beautiful sales pages using Thinkific and I've shared with you what needs to be created inside of your sales page to make your sales pages higher converting, I recommend checking out one of my resources called the Digital Product Toolkit. If you wanna learn more about how to create that great sales page and really understand how all the different pieces fit together, check out this product because it's a great program. I cover everything you need to know about how to get started with email marketing, how to promote a product, even if it's beta or live, without having to worry about creating the perfect course. And I also talk about some other features, including how to get your tech set up, how to create high converting cart checkout software, and how to make all the different technology pieces fit together. So that's it for today of how to publish your own course, how to create a landing page that converts. And I'm gonna share with you some more tips and tricks inside of the description down below. And if you haven't watched the other episodes, on my YouTube channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I really recommend joining me there for some great tips and tricks as well. So that is it for today. Make sure that you subscribe and I can't wait to share with you how to get started by creating your online course on Thinkific. Go ahead and redeem a great free trial of Thinkific on the description and if you have any questions about Thinkific and how to use Thinkific, don't hesitate to reply and comment. Thanks so much for watching and have a good rest of your day.